And then I'd like to call on Lord Paul for his keynote speech, please. celebrate two things. One, the 25 years anniversary of the MRI Institute. But more than that, we celebrate the life of a wonderful person whom we all love. There is a little history to the world and not I itself. The, it was in 1982. One day, I was sitting with the late Mrs. Indra Gandhi, and she told me, Suraj, how can we get the Indian diaspora all over the world? We were interested in India. And I mentioned to her, I said, Indraji, the Indian diaspora doesn't need any cuddling on that. They love India. They are more proud of India than people in India itself. So, and that was the first time she thought about it and decided that the NRIs can start investing in India. The, I was perhaps one of the first one who did that, because you can't make a recommendation and then find that you are not the part. And the whole establishment, whether it was in politics, the ruling party or the opposition parties, or <coughs> the business, they went bananas. All sorts of things came up. And that is the time when the word NRI came from India, and they meant non-required Indians. There was a uproar in the parliament. Nobody understood. That I mean, all sorts of charges that the NRIs will, this thing, they have this thing, that. And then I came across, and even the press, without thinking what they were talking about, in Indian press, started because they wanted to support the establishment. Then I came across a wonderful person, very courageous, and that was, I am not sure even Manu knows that, came across his grandfather, Gurlab Singh. He used to run a paper. First he used to be in what became Pakistan. Then he shifted to Delhi. And he was the one who really took up this cause that no NRIs have a great contribution to make. And he and I <coughs> sat down one day at his home for dinner, and we, we changed the word from non-required Indians to non-resident Indians. So that is the history of the word NRI. He supported me. I mean, uh, it became almost a 
almost a major war between the establishment and myself. I lost a lot of money, but I do one, I did win the heart and minds of a lot of ordinary people who even today give me the affection which I am grateful to God that I get. And then, unfortunately, he died only a couple of years after that. And Jagmohan used to sort of work with him. And he continued it in a very small way. And then one day he came, he says, Swaipalji, I would like to start an NRI institute because there is a lot of potential. And that is, was the origin of an I Institute. And the man was so committed to this that day and night, whatever happens, he really brought the NRIs all over the world, at least to know that they exist for each other and for India. And we are all very grateful. To, in the 80s, the NRIs had more this thing, capital, than the people in India who claimed from their balance sheets. I, do, I can't comment on the wealth they had, but their balance sheets certainly do not have. So the NRIs, as we know, we are proud to be here in this country. We have contributed to this country more than what we have received, and we are determined to see, do so even more. We have with colleague of mine, Baroness Verma. She's doing a marvelous job in the House of Lords, first as a whip, then now I'm minister, and I hope she keeps the energy going. That's the department she <laughs> But she's a tremendous asset to the House of Lords. And wherever you go, you go all over the country, we have a very happy community, very successful community. And all of us are delighted when Manu came to my office and he says, I would like to continue with this NRI Institute. He had a flourishing business in fashion, and running an NRI institute is very different from fashion industry. Its fashion industry is far more glamorous, but uh, I am glad he has taken on this mantle, and we certainly should support him. He has a great contribution to make to India and to the countries where the non-resident Indians are settled, including Britain, and we will be grateful to him, and we should give him all the support. And Sharanji, I have known you when you were just a bride. And you have been a great support to Jagmohan, and I know you have been working very hard. Getting an organization going is not an easy task. And I know one thing, for a person who is married 56 years, that wives play a great role in the success of a person. I wouldn't be where I am without my wife, so I know how much you meant to him, and we are grateful to you. And we have all the wishes, best wishes for you and all. Thank you very much.